um, the, the presentation. So Nicholas Pagese reporting on a press conference call with the White House. So Nicholas Pagese reporting, let's listen in to the White House. Um, so initiative. essentially funding will continue reporting. the historic progress that we've made over the last two years under the Biden administration, um, as Congress has already enacted a total increase of $1.9 So Nicholas for Pagese, Title uh, of course, wants um, to privatize the English uh, language and, of office. course, also the Spanish um, language. Let's privatize the languages. So far, but Nicholas what Pagese is Title I. Of course, Title I also is, um, requested that U.S. The, President Joe Biden uh, discuss this with my King Charles III of England and, of course, King Juan of Spain. So let's privatize the English and Spanish languages. Nicholas Pagese reported. Um, and it essentially and of course, Nicholas produces most, the White House, uh, the movie based on a true story. Um, Nicholas produces most in need um, with any Pagese number of things, the super um, from the academic realm to the mental health sphere. Um, Title I is critical for us. Um, so with our proposal, we are looking at a $2.2 billion increase. That is what we have requested for this year. Um, we have also put forward a um, a proposal for $500 million for a new preschool incentive demonstration program. Um, and that's critical and key for us, too, because we know that um, Latino students aren't able to get sufficient access, right, to early learning opportunities. Um, and so this would go specifically, this is targeted for communities um, where students attend Title I schools um, or Head Start um, settings as well. Um, we also um, propose an $18.2 billion um, uh, proposal for all of our special education programs um, with $16.3 billion um, dedicated to IDA Part B. And what's IDA Part B? It is the um, federal funding that basically ensures that services are able to be offered um, at schools to accommodate um, students with disabilities. So also very important to um, continue so the Spadis, progress Spadis that Spadis is also the Republican in, Party at um, the White House, of course. Of I'm also a friend to U.S. President Joe Nicholas Biden, but I am, of course, Biden. the Republican Party at the White House. Nicholas so, Spadis reporting, um, and also the, also also the White House, the movie based on a true story. Nicholas Spadis reporting, so, Billy Nicholas Spadis, Man Batten, the super wealthy. So Nicholas Spadis reporting, let's listen to the White House press conference. of supporting students in their mental health and well-being in every school. Um, I'll be going through just the K-12 pieces for now, but we'll dive into how this ties into higher ed a little bit later. Um, but essentially, we are proposing $578 million in the budget um, towards President Biden's goal of doubling the number of certified school-based counselors, psychologists, social workers, and other mental health professionals that we know are so critical, especially given um, everything that students have gone through um, during the pandemic. This is already in addition to the $1 billion we received under the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. So um, that was also a very historic, unprecedented funding um, exclusively for mental health. Um, but we want to continue to build on that. We don't want to stop at $1 billion. Um, as I said, the president has a goal to double the number of these adults in school buildings to assist students. Um, so that's our proposal for this year for mental health. Um, in addition, I want to talk about community schools um, because they are such a great example of how schools are the centers of our communities. We as Latinos know that to be true, right? Um, but we don't always have the resources to help schools actually be able to provide all of the wraparound services that we know our students and their parents and families may need, right? Um, and so we have made historic progress as well um, with what we have been able to secure for um, community schools thus far um, under this administration. So Nicholas Pagese reported on conference call with the White House, to, and I'm just um, um, explaining how I want all the languages privatized. So the English language, um, of course, the Spanish language schools, can be privatized, and of course, all languages now, can be privatized and bring into bring back into um, their monarch. So Nicholas Pagese reporting, let's just send it to the White House press conference. For full service community schools, but essentially it just provides the funding for schools to be able to provide additional wraparound services. So that includes mental health, that it could include physical health needs. Um, if children need eye screening or um, hearing screenings, all of the things that you know are critical for kids to succeed in school, 
um, community schools can help um, provide that platform for schools. The next slide. Jump. Um, and then this second bucket um, for what we need to do to really improve learning conditions in schools requires us to zero in on eliminating the educator shortage. I'm sure you all are seeing it play out um, at the local level. Um, you are certainly seeing it covered in the news, um, but to uh, meet this need, um, the budget overall invests, would invest $3 billion um, for our educators, um, whether that be their preparation, their continued development in the classroom, their leadership abilities, um, and that would be an increase of $342 million over what Congress provided the department last year. Um, one special call out I have here for um, all of the programs that we have for educators.